Hey guys, I'm Ashley Horsfall, the author of Getting Through Tough Times with Healthy Place. And today I wanted to talk to you about how I cope with catastrophic thoughts that I tend to have when I get super anxious. And dealing with them has been a very long process. And of course I still have these thoughts, but um, they get easier to deal with as, as I go through these steps. So the kinds of thoughts that I deal with usually involve someone getting hurt or someone dying and me not uh, being there to help as if I could really do much of anything. Um, and then I also have thoughts like, well, my friend was not as warm this morning as they usually are and they didn't say hi the way they usually do. I must have done something to upset them and then I will kind of go based on that all day, stressing out about what I possibly could have done. And the reality is that my friend probably just had a bad day or maybe they're dealing with some stuff of their own that they didn't want to talk about. So it's, it's really not related to me at all. And sometimes, you know, when you're in that, that mindset, you make it about you. So that's been kind of a struggle. But the first thing I do is try to walk myself through it. And I try to say things like, well, at this exact moment, you are fine. These things aren't happening, and they might not. Even if they do, you will be able to cope with it. And that's just kind of what I repeat to myself, regardless of what the, the thought is. Second, I try to remember that it is important that I don't try to control everything, because my anxiety kind of stems from like a sense of wanting to control the world and have things kind of working out all the time and that's just not really the way the world works. So I need to kind of step back, take a deep breath and think, I need to relinquish this sense of control and just be okay with the fact that I don't control everything and even if I did, things probably wouldn't go according to my plans. Um, third, I have found that it's really good idea to try to face some fears. So if I'm afraid of leaving my cat home alone because something might happen to her, I realize that what I need to do is start leaving my cat at home and not worrying about it. So if I say I left for five minutes and came home and nothing happened, next time I could leave for 10 minutes and then 15 minutes, something along those lines, which is an extreme example um, because, you know, I don't worry about my cat all that much, but um, that's kind of how I would approach something like that. And then fourth, I recommend going to therapy if like thoughts are really overwhelming. It really worked for me to kind of uh, provide a frame of reference for why I was feeling some of these things, and it really helped me understand that um, control was was a huge issue in my life and that I felt like people weren't uh, protecting me when I was a kid and that's probably kind of how it it started out and of course everyone is different and everyone has different reasons for feeling anxious but that's kind of just what I realized worked worked best for me to, to try to curb these thoughts. Um, I want to hear from you guys if you've ever had catastrophic thoughts and how you might have learned to deal with them.